miles per hour to inches per bicep. Mr. Universe for 1955 is being selected in London, Superman physiques from all over the world. Muscles that seem to be able to go for walks on their own. This chest belongs to Moncha H of India, uses 47 inches of tape measure. Manohar H was born on the 17th of March 1913 in the community of Putia in the Kamila district. Initially, it was part of British India and is now located in Bangladesh. After being diagnosed with a serious disease as a youngster, he was devoted to a healthy lifestyle and training. His motivation came from watching wrestlers from the local area train. He imitated their push-ups and squat regimens to harness the belief that exercise is essential to build the strength needed to succeed in life. When Aich was a teenager, his father was unfit to work. According to his son, the young man took on the responsibility of helping his family members through doing feats of strength at local events. Apart from bending steel rods, the man tore 1,000 page books in half, carried up to 450 pound weights down the street and balanced himself by placing his stomach on the edge of an axe. There was a mark on his neck where the blade once struck him and he fell during the act. When Aich was in his late 20s, he moved to Kolkata, the city's commercial centre. He continued to increase his strength by training in the gym. Aich made a living selling coconuts at Kolkata's Central Railway Station. Aich entered the British Colonial Air Force during the 1940s. Inspired by the struggle for independence and the uprisings he participated in, he fought against his superiors. He was incarcerated with his fellow members of the British Army in 1947 for assaulting an officer. While in prison, he exercised and worked out with weights for up to 12 hours daily. He was granted amnesty one or two years later following the independence battle achieved. With his chiseled body, his physique had improved so much that he was crowned Mr. Hercules in the 1950 contest. Aich was called the Pocket Hercules because he was so much smaller than India's most famous bodybuilder, Pramchan Degra. Degra said he carried Aich's body on his shoulders during the competition in New Delhi in 1993. This was captured in a photo that became popular in India. Aich participated in his first Mr. Universe contest in 1951 in London and came second. He won the contest on his second attempt one year later, after he remained in London to study and work. Aich returned to India as a hero of the nation. Madhuka Tawaka, an 83-year-old bodybuilder and the director of a huge fitness business, recalls being happy as a teenager for the mere opportunity to rub oil onto Aicha's muscles during contests. Just start running 88 years and... He wanted the chance to make an impression on him. Kshitish Chatterjee, also 83, worked in Aicha's gym and competed for India at three global contests, according to Aich. Aich was a taskmaster. If you missed a workout, you'd be hit with a kick or tapa. Chatterjee said in an interview, referring to the Hindi word that means slap. Nobody who has worked with him forgets his guidance, to be focused on their work and not worry about any issue. Aich affirmed that teaching, telling the Daily Mail, I never allowed any stress to hold me. I was forced to fight to make a living since my early days, but no matter the circumstances, I was satisfied. Aich took up circus performing in the 60s, traveling throughout India with family members. The most well-known act he performed is known as the muscle dance, in which he swung his body to the beat of the music. Chetan Pathare, the director of operations of the Indian Bodybuilder Federation, said he's never seen anyone with more muscular control than Aich. Pathare even admitted that if Aich wanted to, he could use just his left pectoral muscles. The strength and control of his muscles were a constant companion for Aich well into his 80s. 
Matuka Tawaka shared that H performed up to 87 years old and loved showing off his muscles. He was hairy and wrinkled, but he incredibly kept an 8-pack even when he was old. In spite of his achievements, H never cashed in on his fame. After winning his Mr. Universe title, H struggled financially, yet the fact that he did not complain about it never came into play, as his family and friends claimed. At the end of the day, they believed that he stuck to his belief system and that he was content with as it was. Manoha H passed away on the 5th of June 2016 in India at the age of 103. The memory of him holds not only his incredible strength, but also his colourful life. In his teens, he was able to bend steel bars using the palm of his hands and also with his teeth. When he turned 39, having started fitness, he took home the Mr. Universe contest. He won all this despite being just 4 feet and 11 inches tall. When he was an airman with the Colonial Royal Air Force, he was sentenced to court-martial for insubordination and served prison time. He was a part-time performer for over 10 years in a travelling circus where he worked his muscles while listening to music. H also operated an exercise facility on the ground floor of the building he was living in and trained the best bodybuilders in India. Above all, he was also admired for his minimalist lifestyle, both physically and philosophically. He did not smoke or drink and adhere to an omnivorous diet of fish, rice, lentils, vegetables and fruit and milk. Refusing high-tech equipment, H trained himself and others with thousands of reps of push-ups in the Indian style and squats, also known as bitak and dand. The phrase, he didn't think about things, said Vishnu H, perfectly described his approach. Vishnu is the eldest of H's four children at 75 years old. Only three children survived his death. Vishnu also explained that H was content with everything in the way it was, whatever it was. That was the secret of his success, happiness and long life. <laughs> Hmm. Vikrampur, Pekanachal Legacy. 